Welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet slip stitch ridges. It's a variation of the best basic stitch and it just involves um, crocheting with slip stitches. I'm gonna be using this size five millimeter crochet hooks. These are my favorite hooks. I will link them down below. Um, they're very light, perfect for hands with arthritis, some pain, with just some stiffness. And then the pattern comes from the new crochet stitch dictionary book. Um, this is my absolute favorite book and I will link it down below as well. All right, we're gonna start with a slip stitch. I do it a little bit differently. I feel like then I, most people that I've seen in different videos, all I do is just insert the hook, twist it once, yarn over and pull through. And got your slip knot. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna cast on, let's do 12. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So as I mentioned, this particular stitch pattern just use a slip stitches and what is a slip stitch so this will be your single crochet you will insert yarn over and then go through two well the slip stitch is fairly easy all you do is just insert pull through and pull through the stitch that you already have on the hook so we're gonna make slip stitches all the way to the end insert yarn over and pull through and then into this last one i'm gonna chain one and turn So that was your row one. So for row two, and just for row two, you will work through back loops only. So here you have your slip stitch, and here is your back loop right here, it's in the back. So into the same stitch as you did your chain one, I'm gonna make a slip again through the back, slip and work all the way towards the end. Got stuck and into this last one. Looks kind of confusing in the back here, but we can figure this out. Looks like this is the back. Yep. Chain one, enter. So that was your row two. For row three, you're just gonna do a slip stitch into both of these stitches. Um, not not both stitches, but both sides, not just the back loops, but through both. So this is row three, slip, slip, into both front and back loop of the stitch. And chain one. And this is what it looks like now. That was row three. For row four, you're gonna work through the stitch that's tilted toward the back of the slip stitch. So you can't necessarily call it the back loops only because see you have this side, 
you have kind of the top side, and then you have these loops that are in the back. Well, for row four, we're going to be working through these loops that are all the way in the back. So there you go, this one, through the back. into this last one okay row four is complete chain one enter and you're gonna repeat rows three and four so now we're gonna repeat row three which row three was kind of like a regular slip stitch just right into the same stitch from, from the slip stitch of previous row, slip stitch and slip so into both loops, right? slip slip all the way to the end Chain one and two. So now we're gonna repeat row four. Again, we have as you can see like three dimensional stitch. So you have the side front, you have the top part, and then you have the back part here, right? So into the back loops only, like not these back loops, but these on the other side. You're gonna go slip stitch and Again, slip stitch all the way to the end. Chain one and two. And this is the look that you get. So this is the wrong side. And this is the right side. You get these kind of like raised ridge, right? Versus just regular slip stitch, which would be which would be flat. It's fairly stretchable, but not too much of a stretch. So from now on, you will just alternate again row four row three row four row three for your pattern hope this helps